Hey there, so it's been about five years since I joined edX Grand Ecole program and in this time i have able to pay back my debts and find a job I love thanks to this move. In this video I'm talking about the seven things I wish I knew before I made this move to France. If you're on the fence about France as a destination for your higher studies or if you're not really sure about the school then this video should help you answer the question is this really for me? Firstly, and surely the best place to start. This is the one thing that I had crystal clear in my mind before moving over here, acknowledging why I'm here. Are you moving here just for the experience and to explore or are you moving here with hopes of employment after school? Once you get this out of the way, you can make the right choices when confronted in the future. It gets the distractions out of the way and helps you focus on what matters to your goal. You'll find a lot of people that come over here with this desire to explore, to experience and at the end of it they probably have a business waiting for them back at home or another kit or kin setting them up in another country when you meet these kids your response to this first question will give you direction and solace in another video i'm happy to talk about how edec can unlock opportunities in other english-speaking countries like singapore or the united kingdom but in this video i'm going to focus on france which brings me to point number two, France needs French. The education entirely is in English. If you speak English, you'll be more of an asset to the group that you're working on to make these presentations. So you'll get more than buy with your English when you're in school. And you'll also probably find a job in Paris, which is catering to a global market and hence requires only English. But you're already asking the wrong questions. In France, we speak French. You're constantly putting yourself in a disadvantageous position if you only can communicate with English speaking people when it comes to tasks like finding yourself an apartment, uh, getting your paperwork sorted with the government agencies. You need French for all of this stuff. So if you're looking for a long term stay in France, it's wise to invest in French from the beginning itself. And when you move to the school for the first time, it's so difficult to focus on your French. You can't focus at the same time on getting in shape, making friends in a new culture, learning to cook from scratch, and catch up with your school. Each of these tasks needs energy and you don't have unlimited energy. It's better for you if you have to worry about one less task to succeed over here. So if you can get the France out of the way as early as possible, do that because it takes a long time. I forgot my phone in an Uber and realized 20 minutes later. So I had to get another taxi without a phone. So I had to speak with him face to face in French in the middle of the night and follow the other taxi halfway around the city for two straight hours. <laughs> I made a video about it. It was quite the roller coaster ride. But this whole thing would have been impossible if I did not speak any French. Thirdly, only bring what you can carry. Over my first three years at Edek Business School, I changed my house seven different times and each change entails luggage. It's obvious, right? Just bring what you can carry because you have a long train ride and a taxi ride after you get to Paris. But looking at the prices in France, I stacked up when it came to shoes, to socks, to boxers, t-shirts, shirts, even winter wear because I did not want to buy them after I got over here because they're so expensive in France. I ended up packing all of this stuff to France and then... Just arrived at the student residence. My leg sprain is quite terrible. I can't walk very well. I hope I get healed soon. It was not just a sprain. The pain was so much that I had to call the ambulance in the middle of the night without a SIM card, without access to Wi-Fi with barely any battery left on my phone. <laughs> Everything happens in the middle of the night without battery in my phone, every time. <laughs> and it kept growing to this point until my weak ankle couldn't take it anymore. Shortly after that, I gave everything away that I had not used for a year and my luggage came down to this. Changing cities or asking for help is so much easier when you have manageable luggage. When I moved to Amsterdam for my internship, this is the luggage that I brought in and all of it could fit in the locker, except my backpack, just like Jason bought. So I think it's wiser to carry some extra money and buy stuff over here instead of shopping for everything you might possibly need in India and lugging around stuff that you won't use in years. Number four, you need supplements. When my school emailed me to come prepared for the winter blues, I told to my when my school emailed me to come prepared for the winter blues, I told to myself, I'm a tough Indian and I like the cold. I'm gonna be fine. I don't get blue. Boy, was I wrong. Three months into my stay, the winter hit and it is so dark all the time. When I go to school in the morning, it was dark. When I finished school and come back home in the end of the afternoon, it's done. This lack of sunshine made me so cranky and unproductive. I spent most of my time sleeping, cooking or in a class. 
Taking multivitamins and fish oil for your joints is recommended by the doctors. Also, if you have melanin like me, which blocks out the little sunlight you get here in the winter time, you need vitamin D supplements as well. I started taking these vials periodically over the year and vitamin D pills during the winter time to keep my drive and my energy up in life. It affects you a big deal. The school knows about it. The school wants you pay attention to it. Coming to a nice round number five, which is one of the most important points ever. French students don't have the same needs as you. Coming from Pesit in Bangalore, my idea of friendship was completely different to how the French did it here in France. First of all, most French students have done their prepa together and they already have their student associations. So they don't have the same need as me, a foreign student who has zero friends in the town. But above that, it's also how French people like to consume friendships. Of course, there are friend groups that are bigger, but more often than not, the friend groups are usually much smaller in groups of three or maybe four. And you're not going to fit in just because you need a friend. Granted, there are foreign students which come in with the same disadvantages as me. But since I was focusing on improving my French, I wanted to hang more with the French people and hear what they say on a day to day basis. And if it's not happening in school, a proactive approach would be to start looking elsewhere. For that, you may need to find an area of interest for which a community meets up in the city, like a church or a language learning club, like it was in my case. I joined the Lille Blabla community and ended up organizing a couple of their events. I met a lot of French people who are trying to learn English and a lot of English speaking people who are trying to learn French. Some of the people I met over here came back to my business school at EDEC and we conducted free French classes from the streets for students. That sense of purpose and that sense of community you really need when you move into a new city. Without friends, a city is dead. You, ca you can only spend this much time looking at new monuments and new kinds of buildings. After that, you want to go back home if you don't have friends in the city. Tim Hicks in his channel talks about a lot of things that interests him, but you'll notice many videos are about cars. That's very close to his heart. And he has been able to find his community of motorheads here in Paris. And that's his little claim. I have a deep sense of admiration for this clarity because if you don't have it, you'll end up feeling lonely. France as a country is far more silent than is India. You don't hear as much, especially in months like August and December. And in the weekends with the supermarkets closed in a city like Lille, you end up being all by yourself and wondering what you're doing over here. So apart from school, find yourself a clique, a community of people where you belong. Six, finding your part-time job or an internship. Looking at TV shows, American TV shows or English ones, it looked quite easy or normal to find a part-time job. If you just applied and did the interview, they'd probably not pick you because you're catering to French cli French speaking clients who don't speak any English. And if you can't hear and understand four people speaking at the same time, it's not gonna happen. And when it comes to internship around your area of study specifically, the first one can be a challenge. It feels like everyone comes in with some kind of privilege or advantage for you to find what you want to do in the industry of your choice. And if it's not clear to you which industry or which job you should be working in, you got to spend some time working on that first. This is a discussion we need to spend a good amount of time on and I'm happy to make a video about that later on in the series. I've realized that happy people are those who recognize their privileges and, ad and advantages, who are aware of them and who use them on their day-to-day -day basis. So instead of saying stuff like, this guy had it easy because of this and that girl had it easy because of that, I started finding out what is it that I have that many people don't. Competing in France, my English was an asset in a community of students that don't readily express themselves in English. My English was an asset and the fact that I could pick up my French in a short period of time proved that I am a quick learner. So using this in my advantage and focusing heavily on that took me farther than just pointing out why other people were able to find something. They have their advantages, you have yours. If you focus on other people's advantages, then you'll start behaving like them when you don't have their advantage and you'll completely ignore the ones that you do have and that will make you a failure. Last but not the least, learn how to cook before you move to France. Like I said before, you can't do four new, five new things after you move over here. It's nice if you already have some basics in French and it's nice that you, if you already know how to cook with the ingredients you find here in France. I did look this up and I learned of what it must cost to eat outside. I started making these mathematical estimations of these are the number of times I can go out in a month. I should not go more than this number of times for a coffee, but I'm coming from a certain privilege 
village in India where I just step out for a masala dosa or a filter coffee whenever I feel like it. First of all, it's not available in that price and secondly, my comfort food is not available in Lille. In France, you get a lot of Indian spices in the city of Lille and in Paris as well. You get a lot of good Indian spices, so you don't need to carry it all the way from home. Even a couple of basic French dishes is in your advantage. You can't eat out every day and you better come equipped with the skill or you'll spend the first few months really depressed because you can't enjoy your food. The breakfast at Eric was only one euro, but it was cold, non-spicy food. I saw this huge pot of peanut butter and I smeared my bread with it and I took it in a bite and the food just wouldn't go in in the morning because the bread was a brioche, that is sweet. And the peanut butter was not peanut butter. It was speculoos, which is double sweet. Coming from a place of eating hot upma in the morning and spicy dosa sambar, <laughs> It was difficult to fit in. If So if you're planning to move to France or you're not sure if France or this MIM thing is the right thing for you, then definitely subscribe because I'm going to make a couple of videos in this series. Anything specific you want me to talk about in this limited series, hit me up in the comments and I'll see you guys in the next one.